Hi beautiful people in this whole wide world. I hope you're doing well. I am. My name is Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So lately I've been wanting to play with color eyeshadow looks. And so I ended up going to Ulta and I purchased NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. The bright color one as you can see. In this video I'm going to be reviewing slash doing a demo with this palette. And I want to use like almost all of the colors. So I'm thinking of doing like a rainbow look on my eyes. I've never done that. So we'll see how it ends up looking. And if it ends up looking good, then hey. If not, well, I'm not going to in this video. First, let me tell you guys, this eyeshadow palette is so, so, so little. A lot of people might or might not have the Anastasia Glow Kit. And look at how small it is to it. This thing is small as it is. Well, I think it's small. Like, a little. Um, so this is even smaller. Um, this retails for $18. Everybody knows that drugstore makeup has been stepping up their game and, you know, getting better and better and better. So, let's just go ahead and get started with this video. So I already have my eyebrows done, as you can see. And I already primed my eyes as well. I'm kind of, like, excited to play with colors. Like I said, I usually never play with colors, so it's gonna be fun. The first color that I'm gonna be taking is this one. I'm focusing it right here, like on the inner crease, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna intensify it even more and just add a little bit more. I'm liking the eyeshadow so far. The next color that I'm gonna be taking is this one right here, which is a darker blue. They don't have names, by the way, so that's why I have to be pointing at them. So with this one, I'm gonna be putting it like overlapping that one, but not so much, like just a little bit and I'm putting it like in my inner middle crease does that make sense like you guys are looking at where I'm putting it okay so I'm taking my blendy brush and I'm gonna blend those colors together by the way in between of me adding another color and another color and another color I'm gonna be blending so I might not show it all the time but I'm gonna be doing that in between colors I'm gonna be blending them next color that I'm gonna be taking is this beautiful purple right here the darkest purple there is in this palette and so I'm gonna be taking that one and I'm gonna be putting it right next to that one and just make sure to blend it out keep blending, keep blending. okay so this is what I'm looking like so far um so far I'm liking it to be honest I don't know about you guys, but I'm liking it so far. The next color that I'm going to be taking is this pink one right here. It's not the darkest one because I think this one's more red than pink. So I'm taking what I think is the darkest pink, which is this one right here. And this one's going to go in my crease slash outer V. So for the price, for the eyeshadows, they're pretty good to be honest. They're probably not the best. So be in drugstore they're pretty good the next step is going to be cutting the crease i'm going to take my favorite 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 concealer which is the tarte shape tape and then just cut that cut crease i think everybody knows how to do that so i'll see you guys after i do it as you guys can see i cut my crease okay so the first eyeshadow i'm going to be taking for my crease is going to be this green one right here i'm going to be putting it like right here in my inner corner kind of Okay, okay, I see you agree. This is what it should look like. I'm gonna be doing the same to the next eye. I'm like pretty excited of how this is gonna end up looking. For the next eyeshadow that I'm gonna be taking is this yellow right here and, and put it right next to that green one. I'm hoping this yellow is gonna end up looking cute. I actually really like the yellow shade. So one day I'm probably gonna do something with like only yellow. The next eyeshadow I'm gonna be taking is gonna be this orange color right here that's in the corner okay so this one I'm kind of connecting it with the pink that I did earlier remember in the outer V so I'm kind of connecting them now this is going to be one of the last colors I'm going to be using I just looked at myself in my mirror that I have like right here that's lighting up myself I'm actually pretty proud of this. So what I'm gonna be doing now is basically blend the purple and the pink and the orange kind of like right here, like not together, but like where it looks like smooth. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. And let's see how it ends up looking. 
Okay, so I'm debating on whether to cut the crease with the yellow eyeliner or cut the crease with white glitter. So we're gonna ask Instagram and see what they say. So I just posted a poll on my second Instagram, which is my beauty one. I'm gonna wait around five minutes and see what people say. I actually really like these eyeshadows. They're pretty good, especially for me because I'm a beginner when it comes to color. Like, like I know how to play with neutrals. Like neutrals, like I'm good. But color, I've never played with color. I've always stayed with browns and neutral colors. Um, and I would rarely even play with black. Like, ever, like, I would rarely play with black. So now that I'm technically a professional makeup artist, I want to start playing with colors. So that's why I got this palette. Just because it was, you know, it's cheap, to be honest. And so it's like a good way to practice with colors so if anybody wants to start playing with colors i do recommend to get this eyeshadow palette just so you guys get the hang of it in my opinion i think they're pretty pigmented if not there's always more um there is like a hundred dollar palettes and stuff like that with color eyeshadows so so far you guys are saying to cut the crease with yellow i really wanted to do glitter because <laughs> i feel like every like glitter makes everything look so much better well maybe i could still use the glitter somehow right, right, like right here yeah, let's, why not? Let's use both. Okay, I'm gonna do one eye over here. Let's see how it's gonna look. Oh, I'm scared, bro. I'm scared, like I'm legit scared. Like, what if I do a bad job and I end up ruining and it's like, ugh, it all goes to like crap. Okay, okay, I got this, I got this. Who am I, Stephanie? I'm scared, I'm terrified, low key. Ah. High key, what do you mean low key? For my first line. I'm sorry guys, but I can't do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the cutting the crease with my yellow eyeliner off camera and you guys will see how it's looking. So sorry. I hella messed up. Look at that. Oh my god. Like I was doing good and then right here I went to crap. So I tried to fix it. I think I still need to add a little bit more purple. And I still have to do this side. So ah, oh, wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. So there's the other eye. But overall, I mean, you guys gotta admit, I think it's a pretty good, pretty good, right? Hate is gonna hate, whatever. So I'm gonna do my face makeup off camera, and then I'll be right back so we can finish off the eyes. But for right now, this is it. Next step that I'm gonna be doing is putting my glitter. I'm gonna be putting it in my tear duct. So this is technically more shimmer than glitter and um, I didn't know that. So I'm gonna actually gonna take my Stella Glitter and Diamond Dust and I'm gonna put that one over this. For the bottom one, I'm gonna be taking this one, this one, then this one. And you know, just start from here to here. So I'm basically gonna be doing what I did to my crease over here to the bottom of my eye. Now the final part that's gonna make this look so much better, which are lashes. So I'm gonna be taking my favorite lashes, as you guys know, which are these. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on these lashes, and then while they end up getting a little bit tight, I'm gonna put some mascara on. Can you guys tell that I'm freaking out? My, I'm in my period right now, so I broke out really bad, and I have like three big pimples. Like one, two, three. This good thing. I like clear lash glue just because I'm not the best at putting lashes. So it like takes me a while to get them good. And I know the black one usually stains the eyeshadow look. So uh, if you're like practicing putting on lashes, I recommend the clear glue. So this is my final look of this rainbow look demo tutorial with the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette with the bright. I think these eyeshadows apply beautifully. This is what it looks like close up. I don't know if you guys can see. Overall, I think they're beautiful and definitely for a beginner like me when it comes to colors, I think it's it's good. So I'm definitely gonna start to do more colorful eyeshadow looks with this eyeshadow palette. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you like this makeup look, give it a huge thumbs up. If anybody buys this eyeshadow palette or recreates this look or does something, just tag me in it. I would like to see anybody's recreation of this look. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.